Boy, do I love Poseidon. I, I, it's, it's a freakishly good synthesizer, wave shaping synthesizer, and I love it. It's very much like Nave, but then again, it's not. Some people have been asking me, some of you viewers have been asking me, should I go for Nave or should I go for Poseidon? They can do the same thing, but then again, they're not the same at all. You can make them sound alike, and then you can do stuff in one that you can't do in the other. Uh, I'm not telling you to go buy them, but I got both and I would still get both today. So that's my answer to you. I love this synthesizer and I've already started building a very aquatic bank for this, this beast of a wave shaping synthesizer. The problem is I can't share my presets yet and I really want to, but I can't because it's not possible yet. I did connect Poseidon to iTunes, try to back up the presets and that is actually possible. You can actually connect to iTunes, go into the Poseidon folder, you don't have to sync or anything, just go into the Poseidon folder Folder, choose the presets folder and choose to save it to your desktop system or laptop or whatever you're using and that works and I, I checked it and all the presets are in there but you can't do it the other way around I tried renaming a few and putting them back and they won't show up in Poseidon please severe soon please if you're listening please let us share the presets we make. Now I'm working on a hack pack for Poseidon. It's gonna contain 64 presets because I like doing it like that, because I'm a nerd. And they're all gonna have like very aquatic names. Virsins themselves sell Poseidon with the words for all creatures in the ocean of sound. And I love that, it's, it's just brilliant. So please let us share our presets with each other. So even though I can't share these presets yet, I can at least share some of the work I've done. Mm, I love that feeling. I enjoy it. I do enjoy it. I've even made presets. I, did. I just forgot to save them because I kept tweaking on them until they turned into something completely different. And every night I've been sitting in my sofa hitting the crap there. I'm, oh, sorry. Sorry. I mean the craps, of course. These ones, the dices, and they actually make randomized patches. And if you haven't tried that out yet, if you have Poseidon, you have to try it. And another great function for Poseidon would also be being able to put our own wave files to to make waveforms out of inside Poseidon. It's not that I don't have plenty of waveforms in here, I do, but I want to put my own in there. Why wouldn't I? Why wouldn't you? So if there's anyone here thinking those two additions would be nice to have in Poseidon, one, being able to share our presets with each other, two, being able to insert our own wave files into Poseidon, why don't you go tell Virsin about that? They've got a great contact form that you can use. Just go to the Virsin mobile app division page and then press support right there. The synthesizer is already great as it is, but you know, it can be so much greater. As usual, Doug Woods, Colin Sweeney, and me, Jakob Hackett, soundtrustroom.com, wishes you a very productive week. Now go finger your surfaces and have lots of fun doing it.